In this video, we're going to talk about the chain rule for two independent variables. So chain rule. So the setup uh, is as follows. So w here is equal to a function of two variables. So f of x comma y. And x here depends on two variables as well. So x is a function of s and t. And y is also a function of s and t. And so this chain rule tells you how to find the partial derivative of w with respect to s and with respect to t. Because in essence, uh, w is a function of s and t because x and y are both functions of s and t. So to compute del w, let's do del w del s. Um, what we do is we first have to get to, through to s. So one way to do that is to first go through x, so del w. del x. And then once we're at x, um, we can take its derivative with respect to s. So that would be a partial because x is a function of two variables. So this is del x, del s. Or we can first access s by going through y. So we compute del w, del y, and once we're at y, again, y is a function of two variables, so we compute del y, del s, right? It's a partial. If you recall from the chain rule for one variable, this was like a dy. That's because y in that case was a single function of t. Here, y is a function of s and t, hence the partial derivative uh, notation. Okay, let's go ahead and um, compute del w um, del t. And again, if you remember the one for one independent variable, it was dw dt. And that was because in essence, w in that case was just a pure function of t. Here, it's actually a function of s and t because x and y both depend on s and t. All right, so del w del t. So again, we go through x first. So del w del x, and then once we're at x, uh, we compute uh, del x, del t. And again, it's because x is a function of two variables, and we want to get to t, so hence the partial derivative notation. Or we can first access t by going through y, so del w del y. And once we're at y, we can take the partial of y with respect to t. So those are the chain rules. You can think about it every single time like I did. Um, that's typically what I do. I think about it just like this every single time. You can also draw a picture. Um, let me show you the picture that I'm talking about so, um, so you can see how that works. So let me draw it over here. So this is w. Okay, this is going to be our w. And we know w is a function initially of two variables of x and also of y. So it's a function of x and of y. But the thing is, x and y are both functions of two variables, right? So x is a function of s, and it's also a function of t. Likewise, y is a function of s, and it's also a function of t. And so now what we can do is we can draw a bunch of things on this diagram. So to get from w to x, it's a partial. So it's del w del x. Likewise, from w to y, it's a partial, del w del y. And then down here at the bottom, everything's a partial, right? Because x is a function of s and t. So to get from x to s, it's del x del s. And to get from x to t, it's del x del t. Likewise, to get from y to s, it's del y, del s. And to get from y to t, it's del y, 
Del T. It's one of the harder topics uh, for people to uh, to understand. And you can see now, let's just write one of them down. Let's 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 do the first one. Del W del S. Let's try to do it using the picture, see if we can do it. So we're trying to get del W del S. So we need to get to S. So one way is to do del X, del W del X. And then to get to S, we have to go uh, from here to here, right? So, so from X to S, so that's going to take us through del X, del S. So del X, del S, right? Because we're trying to, to get to S. So we take that path. Or we can first go through Y. So del W, um, del Y. That should be an S there. Sorry, a little typo. And we're trying to get to S, so we got to go this way now, right? So del W, del Y, del S. Yep, whoops. Oh, yeah, I usually don't use this picture. Um, I think it's a cool picture, but um, I just uh, I think about it. Let's go ahead and do an actual problem. So um, I spent six minutes explaining the chain rule uh, without a problem, but it's okay, right? Patience. So let's do uh, a nice problem. How about something like this? I have one here. I haven't done it yet, but it looks pretty interesting. So W is equal to the sine of 5x plus 6y. So 5x plus 6y. And x here is equal to s plus t. So it's a function of s and t. And y is equal to uh, s minus t. And the question in this problem is to find um, del W del S. So find del W del S. And also to find um, del W del T. Okay, to find del W del T. Okay, and uh, it also wants us to, well, let's just, let's just stop there for that for now. Uh, and the problem I'm looking at, it has this plug-in values as well, but that's not so interesting. Let's just focus on finding the derivatives. So I guess let's do the first one first. Uh, so del W del del S. So del W del S. So let's see if we can do it without looking at our pictures and our formulas. So we're trying to get through to S. So first we have to go through X. So del W del X. And once we're at X, it's del X del S. Or we can go through Y. So del W del Y. And once we're at y, then it's del y del s. OK. So this is equal to, let's see, del w del x. So we're taking the partial derivative of w with respect to x. So all of the y's are constants. The derivative of sine is cosine. So this will be cosine of 5x plus 6y times the derivative of the inside function which is just going to be 5, right? Just 5 because the derivative of 6y is 0, the derivative of 5x is 5 with respect to x. So this here is del w del x. Now we have del x del s, which is just 1, right? It's just 1. The derivative of s is 1, so times 1, okay, plus del w del y. It's going to be the same thing. It's a cosine again, so cosine 5x plus 6y, except now it's times 6, right? The derivative of 6y is 6. The derivative of 5x is 0 times um, del y del s, which, again, in this case, uh, is simply uh, 1. OK, so we have exactly the same thing, except we have 5 of them plus 6 of them. So that's going to give us 11 cosine 5x plus 6y. And we're not done. Uh, we want to get rid of all of the x's and y's. So let's go ahead and replace everything with what it is. So x is s plus t. So this is 11 cosine of 5 and then x plus, uh, s plus t, sorry, s plus t uh, plus 6. And then y is s minus t, parentheses, parentheses. So del W, del S, just writing it again, is equal to 11 cosine. And let's see what's going on here. This is going to be 5S plus 5T plus 6S, just writing some scratch work here, minus 6T. 
So it looks like it's going to be 11s, 11s, right? 5s plus 6s is 11s. And then 5t minus 60 is t, so minus t. So that, my friends, is del w del s. Let's go ahead and find del w del t. So let me use a different color. So del w del t. So first we have to go through x. So that will be del w del x. And then we have del x and then del t. Then we go through y, so del w, del y. And then once we're at y, we can take the partial of y with respect to t. Okay, so this is going to be equal to, so I, if I scroll down, I can't see my function, so I'm just gonna go here. It's gonna be a little bit harder to understand. So del w, del x, let's do that one first. So it'll be cosine 5x plus 6y. So cosine 5x plus 6y times the derivative of the inside, so 5, times del x del t, which is 1, right? The derivative of x with respect to t is 1. Plus, then we have del w del y. So again, that's cosine 5x plus 6y times the derivative of the inside, which is 6. And then del y del t. This time it's going to be negative 1, right? A little bit different, so negative 1. So negative 1. So del w, del t, is equal to, let's see what's going on here. We have five of these cosines minus six of these cosines. So five minus six is just negative one of these cosines. And then the five x plus six y, we know what happens to that. We did it up here, right? It's just gonna be 11 s minus t, using the same logic as before, right? So five x plus six y, is just 11s minus t using the same math. And then this is, again, this is just 5 minus 6. So you get a negative 1. Uh, and that, my friends, is the final answer. So kind of a long video. Um, if you stuck with me this long, uh, super awesome. <laughs> I hope it's been helpful. That's it.